Hey, so here it is after I uh, make the little special tool to uh, clamp down the uh, uh, vial retainer and uh, taking out the vial retainer uh, locks, the keepers off of this uh, uh, when I reassemble the assembly head uh, the cylinder head to uh, before you take it to a shop to uh, do a pressure test or any kind of test leak down test for cracks and all that um, before I take it to a shop uh, I'm just gonna um, take out all the keepers and uh, the spring and all that doing the head job and uh, what it is is I use the 8 inch C clamps to uh, clamp down the valve that I'm working on uh, as you can see I have a thick cloth there uh, to clamp down one of the valve that I'm working so it won't scratch the valve so I have a thick cloth there uh, on the C clamp and uh, I've already uh, made and cut this one and a half piece of copper uh, brackets there uh, to kind of hold and put it on top of this uh, little piece of uh, pipes, the special tool there um, so it won't wiggling and fall off uh, so that's how it is, that's how it look like and uh, I've already compressed it down so you can just simply use a uh, one of the magnet piece of magnet to uh, uh, take off the keepers so the magnet the keeper will just stick right onto the magnet and here it is uh, I already took out the uh, the one on, uh, on the inside um, you're just gonna use um, this pointy uh, screwdriver and uh, kind of push the other keeper uh, over or out and it will just automatic comes right out uh, and uh, to put it back on uh, you have to uh, uh, put it on right with the big ends on top and the small end on the bottom uh, if you're gonna replace with a new a new keepers um, so that's all it is. That's how you make a little special tool to uh, do the valve job, taking out the uh, valve retainer locks. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy my video. Um, see you guys uh, watching my next video. Uh, thanks. Good luck with your uh, working on your cylinder head. Bye now.